Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Huawei uh, Data Center 3.0 at AI lunch ceremony. And today I will talking about the, how to use the AI algorithm to the data center, te data center technology to bring customer more values. So here is my presentation today. So uh, as everyone knows that we have three generations of data center from Huawei. The first generation is just a sample of different subsystem of the data center, including the power system, the cooling system, and the IT cabinet, and also all the other network cabinet. cabinet. And this is the first generation. And also we have the second generation, which is an integrated solution for the data centers, not only just uh, assembled with the different subsystems, but also make the standard design and also uh, modular design for the data centers, which means makes the data centers to building very fast and with the, uh, and with more values was a his, his modular design uh, of the high availability. So today we have the third generation of the data center, uh, smart convergence at AI, uh, which means we will use the AI technology to make the data center infrastructure more smart and to give, to give the data center more reliable power systems, a more efficient cooling system, and more, also more efficient management systems. So here I will show you what is a smart data center 3.0 and what is the AI. Every people knows that the AI technology is making our society to an intelligent society, and also we are incoming, incoming to an uh, intelligent world. And also talking about the data center, we have several several common requirements. The first one is that we need a very high reliable power supply system to ensure that data center can work in perfectly. And the second one is that we need a very, very high efficient cooling system to save the energy, to save, save the power of the data center in its life cycle. And the third part is that we also need a very simple and very efficient management system of the data centers. And let's see how do we use uh, AI technology into the data center infrastructure. So first, uh, I will have uh, some instance. So first, for the AI power solution, uh, which means intelligent power solution, we have a fault prevent at AI. That means we will bring the passive power supply system, uh, the power fault detect, detect management to a uh, uh, proactive power supply management system. That means that uh, uh, we can use uh, AI algorithm to collect all the factors of the power systems. For example, the, the capacitors and also the battery and uh, everything in the power supply chain is visible and we will calculate all the information from the grid, from the, from the diesel generation and also from the UPS, the component, also to the IT load, even including the battery. After collecting all of these informations, if all of these informations, we will analyze what's the status of the network, and you can see it on the management system. And then, if anything will happen, and if anything happens, of course, we will tell you. But if anything will happen one week later, or maybe one day later, we can, we can tell you in advance to prevent that fault. And how do we do that? Is, uh, we, have, uh, uh, we have one calculation that uh, every, everybody knows that there is a uh, uh, Heinrich, there is a Heinrich loss in the, the, in the fault detections. So every major accident have, uh, we have 29 minor incidents behind. And also behind of that, there will be a 300 of uh, missed, of missed fault. And also be, behind of that, there will be 1,000 Deviation, 1,000 deviation behind that. So even so, if you know all the information in advance, you can prevent the minor, minor incident, and also you can also prevent the major, major accident in your data center. So this is a this is a fault prevention at AI, and also we have the battery SOC and SOH. Uh, SOC means the status of capacity, and SOH means the status of of health. So how do Huawei get this information? Is that we have a special wireless sensors in every cell of the battery, 
and within that battery, within that battery, and we have collected a lot of history data, uh, because that Huawei, you know, we have worked in the telecom telecom area for a very long time, more than more than 20 years, near 30 year, near 30 years. So we have using a lot of back backup backup batteries. So uh, in the in the procedure of using that batteries, we have collected a lot of history data, including uh, the current, the voltage, the internal resistant resistance in the batteries, and then we will compare with the real real battery we are using right now. So if something if something is happening right now, for example, the uh, for example the temperature is going to be very high and the current is going to be very big and we will know it and also we will give you the alarm maybe maybe uh, one day before or maybe half hour before and you can know that this battery has some problems so you can send the people just to replace this cell and which is different uh, compared with the before is that in the past if you want to know the status of the battery you need to send your maintenance people to go to go on field and you need to test each cell and which means it's a lot of human work and which and, and that would be very slow so uh, another thing is uh, if something really going to be happen for example the temperature is going to be over than 100 100 degrees which may cause the fire fire fault in uh, data centers and we will we will have uh, automatically automatically shut down from our smart smart PDU uh, smart PDU and and after it shut down the battery the battery is offline and you can prevent the fire the fire fault in your data centers so this is for the air power solution and also we have the air cooling solution everybody knows that uh, the Google the Google have a deep mind algorithm to reduce their energy cost in their data centers and while we are also doing AI, also doing the AI algorithm in the cooling part, that we have collected more than 100 factors of all the cooling systems, including the data center layout, the temperature, the humidity, and also the fan speed, the compressor speed. There's more than 100 uh, factors. And then we, f we use algorithm to analyze the history of data. Finally, we find that uh, 60 of the factors is related with uh, cooling efficiency. So finally, finally, when we use the real data center scenario and we will calculate the AI algorithm, we will calculate all the information from the past and also, also the, uh, the real scenarios of the, of, of the status we are using right now and then give you the best suggestions of all the uh, expansion valve uh, openings and also the temperature temperature of the chiller temperature uh, the temperature the speed speed of the fans and the speed of the compressors and to let the data center to working in the best optimized energy uh, energy condition so this is the air cooling solution and also we have a refrigerator detection which is also also is a optimus uh, optimus uh, we have some stories that in some country or some operator, when you when you first install your data centers, uh, some people, uh, some people, uh, some engineering people is uh, doing the refrigerant in your data center. Sometimes it's, it's not enough. Maybe it's only 50 percent. Uh, we have a real case. It's it's less than 50 percent. And at that time, you don't know. You don't know your refrigerant is not enough. But and when you maybe run half year or one year you will find oh the the cooling system is down so you have a big fault for your data center but use our solutions that uh, uh, we have collected many many factors of the refrigerator and also we know we know the status of the refrigerator right now so if if any of the refrigerator is uh, is missing is missing all the condition is uh, is not good and we will tell you in the operating system and finally, we can see the AI manager. It's an intelligent management system from Huawei. It's a Huawei's DCAM, DCAM Plus. And here, what, what's new is the SPC smart management. What means SPC? It's a space, power, and cooling. So in the past, in the, past, in the data centers, uh, we have, we have uh, very special conditions that uh, uh, if you have enough space in your rack, you want to put in some server. And then you found that the power is not enough. Okay, the space is enough, but the power is not enough. And when you have enough power, 
and you want to put the servers, you will find all oh, the cooling capacity. Maybe it's not enough. So this is a, a lot of conflict in the data center management. So I, I think the deep, the deep reason is that uh, we don't have any management system who know all the factors, the space, the power, and the cooling capacity at the same time, or, or know this information in advance. And also, they cannot give you the best suggestion for these three of resources. And with Huawei's solution, everything is uh, visible in our management system, uh, which you can see in our, in our booth, that you can see the space of each rack, you can see the power of each rack, and you can see the cooling capacity of each rack, and what's the usage, what's the usage of that. And then our system can, auto, uh, can automatically give analysis and give you suggestions What's the best suggestion right now, and uh, which can improve can improved near maybe 20 percent of the usage of your resource? So after uh, I talking about the AI and the data center systems, so what's Huawei's purpose is uh, using the AI to enable a simple, reliable, and high efficient data centers. So what will be the result after we use the AI algorithm and use these features, the iCooling, iManager, iPower, the iCube solutions to your data centers? And we also have some tests. And what can really bring to our customer is for the iPower solution, we can give the very high reliability power, power system to our customer, which mainly bring the passive alarm to the proactive protection. And also for the eye cooling solution, we have some tests that averagely we can reduce 8% of uh, power consumption for your data center. And even in some scenario, we, can, uh, we, have, our, we have our test for the big data, big data centers could be more than 10%. And for, with the eye manager solutions, uh, as I just told, and with the SPC smart management, we can improve 20% of the space utilization. Oh, for the other, the power of cooling solutions. So this is our main three values we can bring to our customers to bring more value, that less and less fault, lose and less less OPEX and more revenue. Okay. And except of the AI algorithm and uh, some intelligent features of our data center, we also have very user friendly. Interface, for example, the three D visual visual management system, and which can be used in the big operating system, your NOC, and also with the iPad is uh, working as an app. So this is a modular level management system. So for example, uh, as I told, we can see all the information in your operating system. Everything is visible, and we can see your space. We can see here it shows shows a cooling. I think here is showing the power capacity of each cabinet. And also you can see the, the cooling capacity, you can see the space, space, space utilization in the data centers through, just uh, through the iPad. Okay, this is the first. And also, and for the power links, you can see end-to-end -end what's the working status of your links, of the, uh, of the switch, of your battery, uh, and also your IT load of your system. It's very, it's very uh, user friendly. And talking about the cooling solutions, here we have a uh, we have an example that you can also see in our booth. That, uh, for example, in our in our uh, your data centers, you have uh, several several air conditioners, right? So you can see the different working status of your uh, working status of each air conditioner, and all of these working uh, air conditioners we working with each other together to bring the bring you the optimized energy consumption anti-consumption uh, working, uh, the working conditions. Uh, okay, finally, finally, I was talking about another thing about, uh, about to build a big data center. So if you want to build a data center, uh, most of you want to have a high reliability. And also you need a certification from the third party to prove that you have a very good, very great data centers. So how is Huawei's Smart DC 3.0 at AI is the world's first data center which can get, which get the careful ready certification from the Uptime Institute. So what that, does that mean? So in the past, 
if you want to get a, a tier four, if you want to get get a tier four certification, you need to have a tier four design, and you need to have a tier four is tier four delivery. After that, and you will send a lot of expert to uh, to do their due intelligence. And finally, to give you a certification, it, it need a very very long time, and you don't know if you can success uh, or not. Uh, if you if you don't pass, you need to do another job, another job again. But with Huawei's Huawei's data center solutions, right now you already have the tier four ready certification. That means if you use this kind of solutions, you can just bring this model to your data centers, and after that, it's very easy. It's very easy to get the uptime tier four or tier three ready for your data centers. Okay. Uh, yeah, my presentation has been finished. Uh, very welcome, and uh, it's our pleasure to show our Huawei data center solutions to you. And uh, I hope our Huawei smart data center 3.0 at AI solution could bring more values to our customer and to the end users. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Charles Lee. If you can remain on stage, and I would like to ask the data center production team on stage, because now we are going to have the Huawei data center infrastructure solution launch ceremony. So I would like to ask you to all come here. I'll give you a short countdown, and then you can touch and light the board. Is everyone in position and ready? Could just go cross a little bit. Perfect. Three, two, one. Congratulations. Don't forget to look into the cameras, to smile, and to enjoy. And we are now going to have some champagne on the stage to cheers to this very special moment. So you can grab your glass of champagne and of course that will also be a very nice picture. You can cheers, congratulate each other and then smile once more for the cameras. Yes, that is beautiful. Perfect. Thank you so much and congratulations.